Hey folks, this is Fred with Galaxy Note Videos and I'm a little bit pissed right now because this video that I'm supposed to be doing showing you guys about one of the must-have apps on Android it looks like it's turning into a video of me asking you guys to help me figure out what the heck happened to the app and I'm talking about the Widget Locker Pro app so okay, about five minutes ago as I was prepping to do this video uh, I went to the Play Store uh, to type in, to pull up the app to show you what it looks like in the Play Store. And five minutes ago, <coughs> uh, the app came up. You click on it and it says in a big, big black banner, this app is not compatible with your phone. And I went, what the heck? Well, now, not even five minutes later, I type this in. The app doesn't even come up anymore. So I'm like, what, what the heck is going on? So a little bit of a side story. I've had this app for a while now and I accidentally bought it twice. That's how much I love this app, okay? Uh, I originally purchased it from Amazon and I forgot all about me purchasing it from Amazon and I ended up purchasing it from the Play Store later. The point is, I have two of the same app purchased from two different stores. So when I remember that I have it on the Amazon App Store, I come to the Amazon App Store uh, I pulled it up and right there it says it's on the device but not installed by Amazon. Well anyway, I come here, uh, forgive my internet, I don't know what the heck is going on. But uh, basically, I'm surprised to see here the app, I remember paying for it, it is a, a paid app, uh, $2.99. And on Am Amazon here, it has the $2.99 crossed out and it says it is free but currently unavailable. What the heck is going on? I really don't know. I started to go through some of the comments and I saw someone say that the developer is no longer supporting uh, the Amazon App Store. What is going on? Um, I don't know. Uh, but you know what? I'll continue to do the review uh, because some of you are pretty tech savvy and already know how to find the app by doing a Google search for the Widget Locker Pro APK. Um, pretty sure you can find it, but it's a shame. This app, again, is a must have app. I use it every day. Uh, can't live without this app. Um, and uh, it's, it's surprising too. It's the same maker, by the way, if you're at all familiar with the Nova Launcher app. Same guys who made that brilliant uh, launcher made this widget locker app so uh, I will show you what it looks like okay so on the uh, note 3 if you don't have a, a, a pen or anything of that nature this is what the lock screen looks like if you have your app set up on here and um, I'll just show you what it looks like on my note 2 this is what your lock screen looks like with the Widget Locker Pro. Got it. This is a must-have app. Um, all right, so let's start from the top. Uh, basically, the concept is that you can customize your lock, customize your lock screen to do whatever you want. Um, so this is my setup, and I'll just show you. I'll just show you the logic that I have behind my setup. Uh, Basically, from uh, the top to the bottom, top left, you just have the date, the time, the day set there. Uh, this is a shortcut to a light. So, you know, say you got your phone in your pocket, it's dark, and uh, you need a quick flashlight. As opposed to opening up the phone and going to the flashlight app, you just come here, hit that button, boom, the light comes on. Quick access. You can't beat that. Turn it off. How cool is that? Uh, this here, iHeartRadio. This is a shortcut widget that I have placed there. You hit play. And play and stop. Real quick access to that. You, you, you can't beat that. Uh, this is my WinApp music player for all the music that I have stored on my phone. And this widget. Gives you quick access if it okay. Right? You know, you have all your controls to your music player right there on the lock screen. Uh, my podcast uh, app, um, 
what the heck is it called again? Wait a minute, I know. Uh, uh, it's not that it's important. Dog catcher, there you go. They have their widget. I got it planted right on my lock screen for quick access to it. You know, I got my tech. Uh, We're podcast. back in the Cooper Studio here at uh, 770. You can change, switch pos podcast without even opening up your phone. It's amazing. Tune in radio uh, app for all the stations that are not on iHeartRadio. You, um, once you get it going and play, uh, if you play something, let's see here. Um, so to start to play, and once it plays, you will have access to. What the heck is wrong with my internet today? So once it starts to play, the play and stop button populates right there. Uh, right here, the Google Now apps for one quick, uh, for one touch access to Google Now. Bam, right there. Can't beat that. Right? Going back here. Oh, uh, uh, what is this? Uh, not Shazam, uh, the other one. Uh, uh, the music identification app. You hit that one button access, Soundhound, that's it. And it starts to listen for whatever song is playing right there. You don't have to open the phone at all to access it. And one touch access to Waze, my navigation. And then here, you have quick one touch access to any phone or any app you desire. And again, folks, this setup is my own personal setup. You can put anything you want on the lock screen. It is brilliant. Uh, quick access to the phone dialer. Um, quick access to the camera. You can't beat it. I keep my camera locked, by the way, which is the other point that I wanted to make uh, with that is... Um, you know, you can use a passcode on here if you like uh, or not. I personally like to keep my phone open for quick access to, uh, you know, important apps. And I then lock apps such as my text messaging app or the camera app as you saw earlier uh, to keep that stuff private. Uh, but anyway, the app is highly functional. There was a delay, but it, okay. Uh, quick access to silencing the ringer. Right? Um, I love, love, love this app. Again, it's highly customizable. So, um, I was able to see that the app will, it, it's, it looked like it started to work. This is what it looks like when you set it up. Right? Um, and I hadn't done that yet. So this is all a surprise to me. I, I'm not sure why it's not supported or uh, why it's not popping up in the Play Store. Very odd. Um, I'm still going to set it up. It, it, it seems like it's going to allow me to set it up. I can't see why the app wouldn't be supported. And this is what it looks like. Um, going through the settings. It's there, folks. So again, um, it could be carrier specific. For example, uh, Foxby, if you're familiar at all with that app, it is completely blocked on Sprint and I believe AT&T, but other carriers are able to get it. Maybe uh, uh, other, other carriers will permit their Galaxy Note 3s for having it. I don't know. Folks, leave a comment in the uh, comment section if you have any insight, uh, anything for this must-have app widget locker. Thanks for watching.